Forge fans, it's the Forge Audio Network. I'm your host, Anthony Urcioli. It's the three keys to the match for Forge FC. They are on the road. They're out east in Nova Scotia to take on HFX Wanderers FC. A very difficult stadium to play in for the visitors. Uh, Wanderers grounds there. And Halifax, by the way, well aware of what's ahead of them. Before we get to the three keys, let's hear what... Wanderers head coach Stephen Hart had to say about the club they're facing in Forge. We have no illusions. We're we're playing in 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 my opinion, obviously the the best team in the in the league. They've been to three finals. They're our flagship team in in Concacaf, and uh, they know how to play these away games. So we would have to be on our our best performance collectively. And this is something that Forge coaches, players have talked about. Every team they play is ready for them. I mean, that's that's the bullseye you put on your back when when you've been as successful as Forge has. And I mean, you just you take it happily. Um, I'm here in my black and gold Forge jersey, which was the alternate after the first season. I know it's a little controversial. I know some fans say it's it's orange, it's gray, or nothing. I mean, when you're born and bred in Hamilton. It's, it's tough not to get attached to, to the, these colors. Um, also, the colors of my favorite hockey team. We're not going to talk about them because they disappointed me. And I will not be watching hockey anymore until October. Um, anyways, back to soccer. I promise we're, we're only going to talk soccer from here on out. Um, so, Forge goes into this match. And I, let's get to the first key. And this is, this is interesting because I'm going to say... First key for Forge, greasy goals. What does that mean? Forge have scored some beautiful goals this season. Hujab Rapport, um, you know, Noah Jensen scored a really nice one. David Chouanier scored one of the best goals you'll ever see. This club is known for making the highlight reels, which is great. But it's not something you can depend on. Scoring goals from long range is... It, it's not a habit, or at least it's not a recipe for long-term success. Forge needs some more ugly goals. Getting the ball into the box, maybe second, third, fourth try opportunities, just grinding away and getting that. It, it, it's been a struggle for Forge on that final touch in the, in the final third of the pitch. And I, I think this is an opportunity. You go in. Again, there's some question as to how the field conditions are going to be with that natural grass early in the year. It's not always the best at Wanderers grounds. So you're going to have to score some greasy ones. Just get the ball in there, hack away, and find your offense any way you can. It doesn't always have to be pretty. In fact, the long-term, if we're looking at long-term success and long-term consistent scoring, um, it's the ability to not score pretty goals. It's just finding a way to finding the back of the net. Key number two for Forge, corners and crosses. Now, they get a lot of opportunities, does Forge. Um, when you look at the numbers, even last week, I, I got to find the, the final numbers here, but the amount of uh, corner opportunities that Forge had, and let before I don't want to say anything without uh, having the information exactly correct here, so I'm not even going to guess the number, but it was high, 15. <laughs> Forge had 15 corner opportunities compared to one for Atletico Ottawa back at Tim Hortons Field last week. Forge is going to get their opportunities. They're going to get a lot of crosses because they possess the ball so much. They're going to get a lot of corner opportunities because they're on that half of the field uh, so frequently. The issue is they're not connecting on a lot of their crosses and corners. In fact, they lead the league in um, unsuccessful corners and crosses in terms of just connecting with teammates and, and someone getting a head or a foot or just any body part just on the ball. Um, so that is going to be a point of emphasis because corners and crosses, by the way, don't just apply to Forge and whether they're successful or unsuccessful in connecting with teammates. Um, if you look at Halifax's numbers this season, Of the nine goals that Halifax has scored, seven of them were a result of a set piece. Whether a penalty, a corner, free kick. Forge have conceded just one set piece goal all season. So, Forge can defend it. 
and Halifax relies on it. So set pieces are going to play a big role in this contest from both sides. Forge needing to connect on more and Forge also limiting Halifax's offense through their set piece game. Let's use that to to, uh, transition to key number three. Make them work. This is a rare time this season that the club Forge is facing might be dealing with even more injuries and health issues than Forge is. Halifax is going to be shorthanded going into this match. So you're going to want to make them work. Not only for their goals, for Halifax, if they want to score, they're going to have to do it the hard way. They're going to have to build and uh, or counter, and they're going to have to capitalize. Halifax being short, man, we know, we know that Forge is going to possess the ball. We can already predict. Possession is going to be up around 60%, probably even more, just based on the trends going into this season. That's how Forge plays. That's how they want to play. They have one of the more complex tactic schemes in the Canadian Premier League. And so hang on to the ball. Make Halifax work for everything. For possession, for their scoring opportunities, and for their goals. Make it tough on them. And this is, isn't even really a key, but it all kind of ties in here. That crowd's always fired up in Halifax. It's, they always make it difficult on the away side. You can really limit that if you're going to possess the ball for 60 plus percent of the match as a fan when you're sitting there and you're trying your best to get the team fired up but they they can't even get control of the ball it really takes the 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 the, uh the steam out of both the fans the club it's just all around make halifax work don't give up anything easy don't give up any any uh set pieces that are in close range, don't give up any penalties, and Forge should be well on their way to securing three points, which they really, really want in this match. They're three points behind HFX in the the standings, and things are so tight right now. I mean, they're three points out of second place, out of a playoff spot, which they haven't been in over the last few weeks. I know it's early. I know players, coaches don't like talking about it, but uh, never too early to look at the standings, in my opinion. All right. I'm fired up for this match. I'm excited. And I know you probably are too. So enjoy. Keep it locked on to the Forge Audio Network. We have plenty more content coming up post-game, post-match. We will have our match in review as well. So stay tuned for that. We'll talk to you soon.